Hey, what's up everybody, my name is TrophyNet and welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Uh, a game where I still desperately try to not kill anyone, even by accident. And uh, that strange behavior caused us to, uh, well, be due for a psych eval. So we're gonna enter the Lara Ozen's psychiatrist... Psychiatric office, I suppose. Hello. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have a little talk with her, so... Hello, Ozen. Adam. I'm Delaro Zen. I appreciate you coming in to speak with me, and... Well, I know you're probably getting this from everyone today, but I need to ask. Are you okay? I've seen footage from the train station, but... Being there must have... Yeah, it was kind of rough. No, that was sympathy. This is a standard agent health interview to determine combat readiness. Here, I got you this from the dispensary. You got me to From which dispensary? Oh! Look, Doc, I was caught off guard by a terrorist attack. Might have knocked some things out of whack, but it doesn't mean my body's gonna start rejecting my augments. True, but traumatic experiences can kick a hornet's nest into the immune system. In patients with neuroprosthetics... Would you believe me if I told you my body doesn't reject mechanical implants? <laughs> no. But my policy is for straight talk only in the room, so if you want me to believe that you're some kind of medical miracle, I guess I'll have to go with it. How Please, does she not see. know that? I would think I've that would be a pretty big file. deal. There's some very interesting history here. Mind if we take a trip down memory lane? No, this go ahead. Take long. Probably it longer if we resist. Detroit SWAT, but left in 26 to head up Seraph Industries Security Division. David Seraph was at the center of America's augmentation debate. So? Are you asking me or telling me this close David Seraph always attracted a lot of controversy? Well... Let's disclose first. David Sarif always attracted a lot of controversy. Yes, I've seen some of his interviews. A firm believer in human enhancement technologies. I wonder if the incident changed his view? I don't think it so did. It didn't seem that way on the day. Yes, indeed. You were with him then? In Panchea? When the incident happened? We were. Educate or cut to the chase. Well, let's educate her a bit. Not at first. I was investigating the people responsible for attacking Seraph Industries. I was this close to exposing them when the incident hit. You weren't affected? No. Because so we you didn't uh, implant that chip I found in our that brains. Seraph had left for the Arctic installation without me. I knew it was still under construction and most of its workforce was augmented. But by the time I got there, the damage had been done. Is there a reason we're dredging up the past? Because I don't see what any of this has to do with current events. Don't you? Panchera was the fulcrum, Adam. For you and for all of society, everything changed that day. It sure it did. They dragged you out of the ocean and into a world that hates and fears people like you. Which actually leads me to my next question. Okay, go ahead. So far, no one's claimed responsibility for the attack at Rizika. But, with the human restoration boat coming, well, it's no secret, Prague has become the symbol of legalized augmented oppression. And the Augmented Rights Coalition is camped at its back door, trying to expose and resist it. Most of the world thinks of them as terrorists. Augmented terrorists. If it turns out they are guilty, well, being augmented yourself... How am I Why feel? would that make any difference? Uh, I think this is a really weird issue sometimes, because they try to make this about the same as the racism issue but well it's not the same is it hmm there we go this isn't about augs versus naturals Delara this is about terrorism and in my book there's no excuse for the taking of innocent lives no matter the reason so if Talis Wrecker ordered his people to do this then it's my job to bring him in not to judge whether he's guilty or innocent Talos well, Rucker must be the leader of the uh, ARC you all your organization. I'll let the director know that I'm officially clearing you for the field. Okay, sounds great. Well, it's probably best if I get back to work, Doc. I'll see you around. Thanks, Alara. And thank you for the neuropathy, because that's going to come in handy as well. Because a lot of people request that, and I think we got another praxis point. We just did, didn't we? Let's see. Yeah, indeed, we're at two. So we can either unlock something fancy, 
something new and fancy or just upgrade something we already have. Let's go for the glass shield cloaking. Let's upgrade that a bit. Oh no, 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 wait. I know what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna first go for the implanted rebreather so we can uh, go through g gases areas. Gaseous areas. I don't know how you should pronounce that. Rooms filled with green goop. So, um, so that's all the Praxis points we had. I wonder what the next objective is here. Meet Vega in the Limb Clinic. Okay. But I'm gonna take a little detour back to our apartment area because now that we've gotten another batch of Neuropathy, I can do something. And since we've gotten a few upgrades, I can also go. Okay. Did you? I'm inside the clinic waiting for you. Sorry, Alex. I'll be there as soon as I can. Hope you're not losing sight of what's important here. Sorry, this place just brings back memories. Don't take too long. I'm gonna take a little detour. So there's also that area that we couldn't access with the loot, that point of, point of interest with the electric floor that we could cross. I think we should be able to do that now. So I'll see you guys back at that area. So third time's the charm, right? So we're gonna try this again. And I think now that we have the uh, increased muscles we should be able to use those bigger boxes to cross the electric water here. So let's drop. Perfect. And let's take the other one here. Yeah, okay. Ah. There we go. No, 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 no. Okay. God damn it. There's also a vent going around here, apparently. Is that something that... No. Give me a minute, because... Is this something that leads outside, or what? No, never mind. I'm wrong. I'm just completely off base. So let's try and cross this. And now I think, yeah, okay, we can use the. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus Christ. That was stupid. So I probably should use that just to cross. God damn it. Use. Okay. And now I need to jump over there. Okay. Can I now turn this off? Okay. That was a bit more trouble than I thought it would be. Because they physically put you in front of the keypad and I thought they wouldn't. So, 9002. There we go. Access granted. And, well. Entering without breaking, indeed. So let's close the door. And let's see. So there's another door over there, probably leading towards the area I could crack open. So that's the newspaper we've been seeing before. What else is here? Ooh, weapon cabinets. Ooh. Sniper rifle ammo. Machine pistol. Smoke grenade. More crafting parts more crafting parts so we're at 300 crafting parts right now tranquilizer rifle ammo always handy armor piecing rounds more crafting parts and that's it i don't think there's anything here anything else can't move these things so let's open this door anything around here seems to be a few more lockers here so that's the wall we could crack open. And a few more lockers. More combat, a rifle, ammo, another smoke grenade. And this one's empty, it seems. So yeah, I think that's probably it. Unless I can pick up some booze. No, okay. 
Okay. That's uh, a lot of loot. Maybe I'll uh, sell that in a minute. And uh, I'll see you guys. Let me, think, let me think. I think I have another point of interest to which I can use the neuropazine I got from uh, the psychi psychiatrist. So uh, I'll see you guys there in a second. While leaving the store, I think... Can we talk to these guys? Cultists. We can. Seeker, are you prepared for the ascension? Which I ascension? The no, I can see your purity. You are close, so close, and the Singularity Church of the Machine God can help take you the rest of the way. You know of it? I don't kind think the of. church can help me get where I'm going. Each of us lives with needs and desires, begging and howling for attention, for fulfillment. We barely have time to ponder what, if anything, lies beyond this wretched world. And you have some idea of what that might be? I am but a servant tasked with spreading the word and offering hope to those who have none but I have the teachings of the church to guide me what would you like to know um hmm maybe tell me a bit more about this ascension you tell were talking about, about. ascension our minds will depart their corporeal shells and merge with the divine consciousness of the machine god this is the ascension sounds like you're talking about uploading a copy of your brains to a computer I didn't think that was possible yet. Thanks to the Builder, it is. But it is much more than a simple copy. It they is went all out with those names, Yosef didn't they? Yosef called it an evolution of the human condition. Do you have more questions, Seeker? Well, now that we're here, let me this singularity have some information about the Church. For augmented only? The word of the Mother. Only the gifted will ascend. She has cast out the flesh flood in preparation. So you're here on a recruitment drive, to fill up the numbers. And more. The Builder lives in this place, the dreamer of our ascension. Now, cast out at the will of the Mother. Let me guess, he's one of the flesh flawed. No, he simply had the crisis of faith. But I am not so blinded by my faith as others are. He was a friend once, a mentor, a leader in our church. Some of us remember. Do you have more questions? <laughs> the subtitles were a bit uh, faster than that, so let's Tell leave. Me now. Maybe some other time. I thought there might Very be another well, side quest here. I will be here if you change your mind. Because he never had uh, side Choice. mission uh, three. What's this? Can I open this? No, no keypad. No code. Okay. So, then I'll head towards the... Maybe you remember that in one of the previous episodes. I talked to this bartender over here and she asked for neuropazine in return for something special. Hello, civilian. Oh. Hello Teresa. Again. What can I do for you? Well, that... Uh, give neuropazine that special order you had. For you. She doesn't look Thank augmented, you. though. I can't tell you how much this means. These are tough times. We all have to do what we can. You understand? That's... You have no idea how many people just look the other way. What's in it for me? But we can't afford to. Not Oggs. And not anyone else. What happens to one happens to all of us. The neuropazine isn't even for you, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. I'm what you might call a... Well... I think of myself as a Samaritan smuggler. I get things for people in need. Yeah, because, as I said, she doesn't look augmented. Does that give me something Listen, in return? I can't let you leave without thanking you properly. I store a few supplies Ooh. in the basement. The code to the door is 1015. Help yourself to what's down there. It's gonna be empty after I've gone through that. Like you said, we all need to help each other. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? No thanks. Let's see those odds and ends you have for sale. Oh, so now I can buy a first aid pack as well. But I'm gonna leave. I'm good for now. As you wish. Because I have uh, quite a few hypostim injectors left. So, let's open this door. 1015. There we go. Entering without breaking. And let's see. So, this is not restricted anymore. Look at that. Nice pool table. And the bar as well. 
Another bar. Great. Anything here already I can take? Some of the booze, maybe? Doesn't look like it. Probably the same newspaper we've been seeing everywhere. And the Samizdat newspaper. Nothing over here. Let's go into the storage room then. Is this the same code? Apparently it is. Oh, 1015. I'm liking this even for the experience points alone. Champagne crate, so let's close the door. Maybe there's something behind the door. We have an ebook and a pocket secretary, and then Welsh whiskey, so let's take that. Anything else? Can I. No, okay, I can't break that. Hmm. Oh. Wait a second, is this one of those storage lockers then? Interesting. Ah. I wanna see what's behind this place. Nothing. Oh, what's this? There's a button. Ooh. More stuff. So let's first read that pocket secretary. From Pavel Davidov. I don't think there's a coming mail, okay? To Teresa, so the, the owner of this place. Teresa, Manny's really nervous about the latest shipment and starting to say he wants out. There's not a lot I can say to make him feel better unless you go back to the usual schedule. The handlers at the Utulek warehouses are used to seeing the driver rosters and I'm worried the lad's going to fold if they start asking too many questions. I know you think the medicines and stuff is important, but I don't want him to lose his job or worse because of me helping you. If you really can't wait until the usual, then you're welcome to move the stuff yourself. It's all in the basement at Daitaga as normal. 5622 will get you inside if I'm not around. My advice, sit, wait and don't fuck up a good thing. Daitaga. Is that in this area as well? Might have to take a look at that. Daitaga and the other ebook. The next three decades fall of an empire. For the last 250 years, the United States of America has flourished. Often growing by leaps and bounds, sometimes at a more leisurely pace. In a finite world, that growth might, may ultimately lead to its demise. Bloated government, bloated population, bloated populace. Whispers of discontent, discontent with the federal government and its power over constituent states. Discrepancies in interpretation of the constitution. And continuing struggles in the global marketplace against the economic power of the Chinese bloc. All this has led to a crisis point. The next three decades will not see the complete dissolution of the United States, but there are strong rumblings that some states will secede from the Union. Already militias have established footholds in state and local government in the Northwest states as well as in Nevada, Arizona and Texas. It seems likely that this is the last gasp of a dying empire and that a second American Civil War could be just around the corner. So hinting at what uh, might happen to America if this goes on. So now that we've opened this place, I can move this, which is great. And now we're behind the place. And there's another... Is this a tunnel? Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, okay. Interesting. So there's all this stuff I can move around, but might not need to. What was that? I got a prompt for something, but I don't really know what that was. There's a lot of explosive thingies here. There's software. A credit chip. Another credit chip. Oh god, I saw something. Biocells, holy shit. Two biocell software. And a lot of stuff. Is there something up there as well? Is there something in here? No. Nothing in between the boxes. Okay. I'm supposing I can't climb up here. Oh, never mind. I can. But the other question is if there's something of interest. Oh, there's a wall I can break open. I don't have that ability yet though. Maybe something... 
new I can use later on. Something that I should invest in if I get the chance. So there's nothing here, so let's go into the suit. Oh, fuck. Let's head in here. Where does this lead? Okay. So now we're at another keypad. Don't have the code for this one. So I probably shouldn't. Because I think this is probably to try and get another way into this building. And we don't really need that. God damn it. Can I get out? Thank you. Okay. Uh, so maybe I can try and find this Daitaga store. Because that was really lucrative. So uh, thank you, Teresa. I also found your secret uh, storage room behind there. Did I ever read this? New regulations for augmented citizens. Update 7.2. All augmented citizens of Prague will be required to carry a T73 permit verification card by the end of the month. Please allow for a two or three week application processing period. In conjunction with an I-15 authentication card and a valid R-Class augment license, the T73 allows our government officials to better identify and serve the unique needs of our augmented citizens. These updated regulations also allow us to ensure that our augmentation quotas are not being exceeded. Please keep in mind, so they have a limit on how many people, augmented people that can live in Prague? That is freaky. Please keep in mind that our institutions are equipped to meet the specialized needs of only so many. Augmented citizens are also reminded to keep all documentation on their person at all times. Law enforcement officials have been made aware of the new regulations and may ask you to provide proof of valid documentation. For more information, please visit the closest government kiosk, the city of Prague, here to serve you better. Yeah, right. Don't really believe that. Hmm. So I might take a quick look around if I can't find that Daitaka store, so give me a second. So, since we, uh, I couldn't find the Daitaga store over there, I went to this uh, Putnikova station, where we need to go towards the limb clinic to meet uh, Alexandra Vega, our contact near the... Holy shit, what happened here? Oh, it's graffiti. I thought it was blood. Can we use this? I'm gonna assume we can. 4464. Four, okay, so this is an abandoned limb clinic then. Master Felonist. So, hello, Vega. Um, in the basement, apparently. Hey. Oh. Glad you can make it. Holy shit. Any trouble getting away? Miller's been giving me some leeway, but not much. I did survive a terror attack. You and me both. God, sometimes I really hate the city. It used to welcome people like us, go out of its way to entice Ogs to live here. This clinic was built because Prague saw us as its future. Now, look at it. So, Prague are limb clinics then permanently disbanded? I know, trust me, even got the scars to prove it. Because uh, limb clinics in the previous game were, well, plentiful. You could find one in each uh, hub area. And they were used to treat well augmented people who had issues and even install new augments. Um, that's weird that they completely disbanded that just because of the incident then. Scars! We've been working together for a few months now. I still don't know much about you. What, you trolling for my secrets now? Yes, indeed. Just the good ones. How did you join the Juggernaut Collective? Well, they got me out of a tough spot before the incident. I was working for Bell Tower flying VIPs around Panama and I stumbled into something big. Something very important people didn't want anyone to know about. So, they ordered Bell Tower to kill me. Janus warned you? Got you out? A friend of Janus's, someone in the collective who used to work for Bell Tower too. You don't mess with these people, Adam. Not by yourself. I learned that the hard way. Sorry for that, Alex. Okay, um, and I'm Prague? You're a valuable asset. The Collective could have sent you anywhere. Why Prague? You really need to ask? Ever since the incident, paranoia and racism are eating the city alive. The whole world's watching just to see how Prague handles its AUG problem. So yeah, it's and pretty much centered in Prague. Pro -AUG. Not everyone is. But we all know our real enemies need chaos to operate in. Play the right chord, pull the right string, and Prague has plenty of that. 
Okay, thanks for the info. You said we got something. Yeah, listen to this. A little heads up would have been nice. Sending your team to Dubai was my call, but now we need to go by the book. Focus on Ark. Wait, that's the Illuminati guy. On them, the bombings in Prague, the break-in at Vesselai, and Dubai. Officially, all five attacks involved augmented terrorists. Is that clear? Yes, sir. But send me the reports if you want me to prove it. Because Ark don't operate in North America. They're setting up Ark, Adam. They sent you into that ambush in Dubai, and now they want to pin everything on the Augmented Rights Coalition. I told you Miller was dirty. Yes, indeed he is. Hmm. Maybe he doesn't know, indeed, that the Illuminati are pulling the strings. Hmm. It's always doubtful, but let's agree for now. I agree, it doesn't look good. He's pulled me off Dubai, put me on the train station bombing. I think he's about to send me to Gollum City. The Udalek complex? You're not gonna like it there. It was built by the Santo Group as temporary housing for transient workers. But now... It's a now slump, it's probably. Now it's dog in the Czech Republic. And it's where Ark's made its headquarters. Shit, man. What are they planning? We don't know yet. We need to play this smart, Alex. Think about what we heard. What was that bit about Versalife? You mean the break-in that never happened? Yeah, I started digging into that right after I decrypted the conversation. What'd you find? Like I said, man, it's the break-in that never happened. Versalife is one of the biggest pharma companies on the planet. The only one still manufacturing neuropazine. If it got broken into, it would have been big news. So why are they saying it did? First Life doesn't produce just neuropazine. They've got a huge research and development division. Yeah? So? What does that have to do with Ark? Why frame them for break-in? They want them to look like terrorists. I guess it depends on what they'll say was stolen. See what the Collective can dig up. If this really is a conspiracy, that break-in will be the threat to pull on. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna finish my investigation. Find out who really bombed the station. I'll let you know when I turn up. Yeah, because that still is important, Same of course. Here. Good luck, Adam. Especially if we can prove that somebody else did it instead of the uh, Augmented Rights Coalition. Getting things no, done. We're still going to Gollum City? You are. Meet me at Kopecky's puppet shop. Your pilot's en route. I'll brief you there. Copy that. Okay. So we got another code, apparently. So probably something we'll need to uh, reach Miller. I'm going to take a little look around here. Painkillers, medical boxes. Uh, and there's an ebook over here. Modern Business Review Corporatocracy, if you pronounce that like that, is not a dirty word. Anti capitalist radicals will cite the passing of the Corporate Sovere Sovereignty Act in the United States, the establishment of pro corporate institutions such as Palisade Property Bank and the policy change that allows large corporations to sit on the UN Security Council as sure signs that the world is no longer run by sovereign governments but by multinational conglomerates. I've heard that uh, story arc before. Now what is wrong with that? Corporate power should be thought of as a mode of political power because ultimately corporations are the people and represent the people's interest in their best interests. I don't agree with that, but every corporation's mandate includes economic growth, expansion and development, all desirable and necessary goals for the well-being of human society. And arguably, history has shown that they have been much more successful at this than most governments. That's not really true, is it? And represent the people's interests in their best interests. Well, they are only interested in profit, are they? Well, most corporations are anyway. Let's see, anything else here? It used to be a clinic, so... Aside from the painkillers, maybe I can find something else that's interesting. Yeah, there's something over here. More software. Thank you. Holy shit. What's this barrel with bully parts doing here? Ooh, credit chip. Crafting parts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And that's pretty much it, probably. Unless there's an entryway somewhere. No, okay. 
So let's head outside. Or maybe there's something in the, the clinic itself that I missed. Let's scan this place really quickly. It doesn't immediately look like it. It probably has been looted before. No, there's nothing here. Okay, so let's head back outside. And I'm going to take a little break. So when we return, we're going to continue. Um, I might do the side quest for Samisdalt first. So we need to find some dirt on Pikes. So we'll do that in the next episode. So thank you guys and for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thank you guys again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye. Next time on Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Look at this thing. <coughs> Hello, receptionist. Allow me to finish with this gentleman, sir. Okay. So that wasn't really great.